Tyrone Andrew Coutine of the Limes Grand and St. George, who resided in Atlanta, Georgia, passed away on Monday, 10th October, in Atlanta, Georgia, at the age of 76. He was the father of Greg and Sally and Coutine in Grenada, Sandra Coutine, Philip, Errol, Andrew, Janelle, and Alexandra in the USA, Cordelia in the UK, and Nasha Alexis in Canada, brother of Angela Coutine, stepfather of Desiree Holmescreen and Patsy Hagley in Canada, grandfather of 18 including Jillian, Josel, Andrea, Siobhan, Sheen, Shanika, Jade, Jada in Grenada, and Carol Elaine Dalt and Stephen in the USA, great-grandfather of 10, great-great-grandfather of 4, father-in-law of 3 in the USA, uncle of Jill, Paul, Cindy, Althea, and Ashanti Coutine, Adele and Shamona Jack, Chubby Prince, Dario Franklin, and Kim Cummins, grand-uncle of many, grandson of Carmen Nathan, many other relatives and close friends including the Coutine, McIntyre, Howell, and Murray families in Grenada, Trinidad, UK, USA, Canada, and Curacao, Agnes Griffith, Cynthia Phillip, Patricia Jeremiah, friends and neighbors of the Limes and surrounding areas to numerous to mention. The funeral of the leads Tyrone and Jucutine of the Limes Grand and St. George, who resided in Atlanta, Georgia, will take place on Friday, 21st October in Atlanta, Georgia. A memorial service will be held in Grenada at a later date. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lacroix Brothers Funeral Home. Lorna Maria George, also known as Natty, of Union St. Mark, who resided at Grand Roy St. John, passed away on Wednesday, September 21st, 2022, at the age of 59, left to mourn her life partner, Karen Ned, four children, Curtis, Hayes, Nikitha, and Nickel George, four grandchildren, Tiquan and Akila Charles, Monique Washington, and Soraya Andel. Sisters Claudia and Marie George, nieces Timna, Hodaya, Magda, Simon, Rihanna, and Nakisha. Nephews Shimon, Eshton, Michael, Caleb, Akim, Rahim, Avomi, Razim, and Razani. Many other relatives and friends, including Miss Jeanette Dubois, Miss Greta Mark, Claudia Lewis, Walion Aquart, Maudlin Ross, Rishon Scott, Jerry, Estelle, William, Gustin, Aaron, Dawn, Beverly, Hazelan, Lindsay, Bobby, Jenny in the USA, Miss Amy and family, Loyola Fletcher and family, Pat Viss Ned and family, Benedict Ned and family in the USA, Bertrand Marichaud and family of Grand Roy and in the USA, Sharon and Brittany in the USA, Jean Alexis and family, Chiffon Cador and family, Anne Williams and family, Bob Ned and family, the Cyrus and DeGans families of Union St. Mark, the Ventor family, Pastor Denzel and family of Light to the Nation Bible Church, members of the 12th Tribe of Israel, members of the Grand Roy RC Church, and friends and neighbors of Union, Diego Peace, The Pasture, Resource, Nico's Shop, Grand Roy, and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Lorna Maria George, also known as Natty, of Union St. Mark, who resided at Grand Roy St. John, will take place on Monday, October 24th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Grand Roy R.C. Church and interment will be at the Douglaston Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Anthony Edward Bido, also known as Tony and Masoki, of Belmont, Caracou, who resided in La Mode St. Patrick, passed away on Sunday, 25th September, at the age of 55. He was the father of Antonia, also known as Tonia, Shanta, Tyler, Keron, Kendon, Nivon, and Kerry. Grandfather of Skylar, Kaden, Kyle, Kylie, and Baby Mike. Brother of Ranali, also known as Nai. Paul, also known as Faithman. Emil, also known as Papa. Amelia, also known as Mama. And Lincoln Raymond in Karakou. Sarah, Myrtle, and Gemma in the USA, Naomi and Debbie in Canada, Ricardo, also known as Cado, Edward, Ricky Bido, and teacher Jennifer Smith in Grenada, 
nephew of Fetina Alexander, Lenny Bido and Miss B, uncle of Wilmot and Teresa Lowell, Otis Gay, Neil Bido, Flora, Kenrick, Mickey, Toria, Shanna, Jason, PJ, Marcus and Camille, brother-in-law of Kenley Gay, Godwin Plenty, Oswald Charlie Nicholas, Mary John, Lloyd Francis and Stephen Otley. Many other relatives and friends including Gloria, Louise, Martin, Indra, Jacqueline, Shamali, Nurse Nellin Perrot, Dan Lee, Abigail, Sherian, Stefan, Joe, Andy, Kanea, Sawasup, Joshi, Debido, Plenty, Gay and John families. Friends and neighbors of La Mode, St. Patrick, Belmont and Havreville Caracou. The funeral of the late Anthony Edward Bido of Belmont Caracou, who resided at Lamode St. Patrick, will take place in Grenada on Monday, 24th October at 2 p.m. at the St. Patrick Anglican Church Sates, and in Caracou on Thursday, 27th October at 2 p.m. at St. Francis Anglican Church Caracou, and the entombment will be at the Havyville Cemetery. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lockwa Brothers Funeral Home. Joan Doris Abraham, also known as Auntie Joan of Grand Boy St. John, a past member of the Legion of Mary, Mother's Union, and the prayer group, passed away on Monday, October 3rd, 2022, at the age of 101. She was the mother of Carl, Lawrence, and Nordica in the USA, Jacqueline and Gemma in Grenada, adopted mother of Francis and John Abraham in the USA, Ian, Oral, Jimmy and William, also known as Wise, and Gordon Andrew, also known as Jacko in Grenada. Grandmother of 19, great-grandmother of 26, great-great-grandmother of 2, sister of Bernadette Jaffe in the USA, mother-in-law of Merrill Holder, Callista Huggins in St. Vincent, and Patrick Moore, aunt of many including Anne-Marie, Sherwin and Bernard Lorraine, Paul, Lester James, and Anne Wilson, Agnes Julian and Ian Jaffe. Caregivers Dr. Jude and Twine, the nurses and staff of the Grand Roy and Guov Medical Centers. Many cousins, other relatives and close friends including the Abraham, Augustine, Castillo and Balthazar families of Grand Roy, Guov and Concord, Norma Hackett and family, the Moses family of Cariacou, Nurse Kathleen Mitchell, Elaine Moses in the United Kingdom, Rhonda McEwen, Yvette Modeste, Germain Duncan and family, and members of the Guelf Catholic Prayer Group and Mother's Union, the staff and residents of Hillsview Home for the Aged, Grand Case Geriatric Caregivers, and friends and neighbors of Guelf, Concord, and Grand Roy. The funeral service for the late Joan Abraham, also known as Auntie Joan of Grand Roy St. John, will take place on Thursday, October 27th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Christ the King Catholic Church Grand Roy St. John, and interment will be at the Family Cemetery Grand Roy. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Honia Slag of Grand Aunt St. George, who resided in Canada, died on September 23, 2022, at the age of 17, left to mourn her mother, Jacinta Snag, father, Gary Coutain, sisters, Gritcher, Nisha and Milani, brothers Kimo, Kimani and Chris, nephews Tyree, Corey and Cordell, many aunts and uncles in Grenada, Trinidad, Canada and the USA, aunts Jacqueline, Olga, May, Anne, Joy, Millie, Shelley, Michelle, Jamie and Dixie, uncles Kevin, Brent, Vaden, Marlon, Kester, Henry, Raphael, Richard, Benedict, Joseph, Johnny and Harris, many cousins and other relatives, many close friends including Miss Monica Phillip and Mr. Carlton, Miss Jean Woodruff and family, Miss Waveney Nichols, Miss Earlene Bruguno, Dexter and Kathy Ann, Miss Andrea Brown, Donna Duncan and family, Brenda LaBarry and family, Jenny Donald, Dr. Beverly Nelson, Miss Grace Williams, Miss Maureen Miller and family, Sabrina Andrews and family, and Miss Indy and Twine and family, Senor Rene and family, Pat Cox and Tia Charles, the Charles family of Mardi Gras, and the Coutain and McIntyre families of Grandons, 
and Mr. Butler. The funeral of the late Honaya Snag of Grand Aunt St. George, who resided in Canada, will take place on Thursday, October 27th at 2 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Blessed Sacrament Church and interment will be at the Grand Aunt Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Elizabeth Peters, also known as Jocelyn and Jasso, of Pearl St. Andrew, passed away on Sunday, 18th September 2022, at the age of 89. She was the mother of Anne, also known as Valerie, Terence, Godfrey, and Errol, grandmother of Patricia, Dominic, Hannah, Patrick, Theo, Jordan, Ethan, Elizabeth, Lily, and Lucas sister of Anita and Elsa, great-grandmother of five, many nieces and nephews including Nicole, Shania, Karen, Suzanne, Hazel, Osra, Earl, Elroy and Kenroy, mother-in-law of Judith, Anna, Desiree and Michael Filbert, caregivers Miss Leno, Natalie, Maureen and Connection Care at home, many other relatives and close friends including Lydia, Dave and family, Gloria, Trevor and family, Ladoris and family, Miss Dallow and family, Miss Germain and family, Earl Abraham and family, the Lessie and Aberdeen families, Helen Parker and family, Miss John and family, Dr. Keith Johnson, Father Emmanuel Cuffre, Father Godwin and the Sacred Heart parishioners, the Jeffrey, Dorset, Dunbar, Steele and Batiste families, and friends and neighbors of Pearls and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Elizabeth Peters, also known as Jocelyn and Jasso, of Pearl St. Andrew, will take place on Thursday, October 27th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Sacred Heart Catholic Church, Tivoli St. Andrew, and interment will be at the Moya Churchyard Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. Priska Eliza Charles Mitchell of Seaview Kariaku, former employee of the National Insurance Scheme Kariaku Branch, passed away on Saturday, 15th October 2022, at the age of 56. She was the daughter of Lynette Charles, wife of Junior Mitchell, mother of Kayla Mitchell, sister of Fitzgerald Charles and Denny Rayburn in the USA, Raymond Charles and Yvette James in Kariaku, and Godwin Quashi in Grenada sister-in-law of Dolores Simmons in the USA, Lystra Charles and Anselm James in Carrie Aku, niece of George Charles, Thaddeus and Timothy Bartholomew, Roger Jeremiah in Grenada and Thomas Charles in Canada, Virginia Wallace and Jean Nelson in the UK, Joyce Rayburn in the USA, Homi Ortiz and Leah Jaffier in Carrie Aku, aunt of Judy, Regina, Janelle, Crow, Camille, John, Jason Rayborn and Reginald, caretakers Beulah Roberts and Shirley Belfont Frank in Grenada, other relatives and close friends including the Charles and Mitchell families, the Lawrence, Jaffier, Mackenzie, Guy, James, Rayburn and Atkins families, the management and staff of the NIS Kariaku branch and in Grenada, the graduating class of 1985, and friends and neighbors of Seaview, Beauceju and surrounding areas too numerous to mention. The funeral of the late Prisca Eliza Charles Mitchell of Seaview Kariaku will take place on Friday, October 28th at 10 a.m. Funeral service will be held at the Christ the King Anglican Church, Hillsborough, and interment will be at the Brunswick Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Oswald Connaught, also known as Uncle of Javiville Kariaku, passed away on Saturday, 1st October, at the age of 96. He was a life and partner of Pearl John, adopted father of Gary, brother of Sonny in the UK, uncle of Georgie Field, Louise Henry, Kathleen, Jeffrey and Lloyd Bido, Jean Stanislaus, Lynch, Thomas, Elvin and Vonica, father-in-law of Lucky Lynn Thomas, uncle-in-law of Jonathan Stanislaus and Elsia Bido, uncle of 38, godfather of Joy Samerson. Caregivers, Georgie Field, Nurse Hamlet, and Astrid Noel. Many cousins, including Joyce Lynn and Holy Lindor, Teoba Lambert, and Peter St. Louis. Other relatives and friends, including Caton families, 
Nurse Hamilton family, Adams, Gabriel, Kwashi, Simon and McIntosh families, doctors and nurses at Princess Royal Smart Hospital, friends and neighbors of Havyville and surrounding areas to numerous to mention. The funeral of the late Oswald Caton, also known as Uncle of Havyville Karakou, will take place on Monday, 31st October at 12 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Lakwa Brothers Funeral Chapel, Thurston Karakou, according to Jehovah's Witness rites, and interment will be at the Harveyville Cemetery. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. Cynthia Ventour, also known as Bridget of New Hampshire St. George, who resided in the USA, passed away on Friday, 14th October 2022, at the age of 75. The funeral arrangements for the late Cynthia Ventour, also known as Bridget of New Hampshire St. George, who resided in the USA, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. Roy Michael McMillan, also known as Uncle Mac, Kenki and Nuku, of Mamakan St. Andrew, passed away on Tuesday, October 18, 2022, at the age of 81. The funeral arrangements for the late Roy McMillan, also known as Uncle Mac, Kenki and Nuku, of Mamakan St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. Desmond Handel Bowler of Carrier St. Andrew passed away on Thursday, October 13, 2022, at the age of 61. The funeral arrangements for the late Desmond Handel Bowler of Carrier St. Andrew will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Wayne's Funeral Services. Hermelinda Silva, near Julian, also known as Mom and Love, of Gwove, who resided at Beaton St. David, passed away on Sunday, October 16, 2022, at the age of 86. The funeral arrangements for the late Hermelin de Silva near Julian, also known as Mom and Love, of Gwove, who resided at Beaton St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Claude Bullen, also known as Red Eye and Charlie, of Cherry Hill St. George, passed away on Monday, October 17, 2022, at the age of 67. The funeral arrangements for the late Claude Bullen, also known as Red Eye and Charlie, of Cherry Hill St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Claudine and Nicholas of Molinaire St. George, passed away on Monday, 17th October 2022, at the age of 65. The funeral arrangements for the late Claudine and Nicholas of Molinaire St. George will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Naomi Nixon of Monkgay St. George, passed away on Tuesday, 11th October 2022, at the age of 93. The funeral arrangements for the late Naomi Nixon of Montgay St. George will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Sibyl Darcy Edgar Nee Tyson of Moya St. Andrew, resided at Paradise St. Andrew, passed away on Tuesday, 4th October, at the age of 80. The funeral of the late Sibyl Darcy Edgar Nee Tyson of Moya St. Andrew who resided at Paradise St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lockwa Brothers Funeral Home. In loving memory of Natasha Sylvia Dominic James of Petmotar St. David, who departed this life and went to be with the Lord on October 23, 2014. We think of you in silence all the time. You wore many hats and left a distinct mark in the lives of all those you came in contact with. You had a zest for life and a passion for your family. Your presence always made us happy with your burst of laughter. Tash, we miss you dearly. You were always a loving and caring person. A day cannot pass and your name is not mentioned. Your memory lives on. God has you in his keeping, but we will always have you in our hearts. 
Remembering you is easy. We do it every day. But missing you is heartache that never goes away. Tash, we will unite again when we meet in heaven on that great day. We acknowledge the support given by your husband, Wilkie James, your mom, Sandra Dominic Andrew, Father Michael Bishop, the Dominic, James, Andrew, Bishop, Francis, Louison, Pastor Selwyn Haling and members of the Garden of Prayer Church, the management and staff of the Republic Bank, the staff of the Marisha House University of the West Indies Open Campus, and all other relatives and friends. Tasha, you are greatly missed and will forever be in our hearts. We love you. Freenewell arrangements were entrusted to Bailey's Freenewell home. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thank you for watching. The pain and agony of losing someone is never easy. Within your own mind and heart, there is a deep pain, agony that no one can fill. Within you see yourself painfully accepting the fact that you have lost someone you love. But this is what the Word of God said in the book of Psalms 121. I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord which made the heaven and the earth. To him you need to look to for your help and your leadership and your guidance. Man will not give you that help that you need. Money, fame, even the very material things that you have seek. You realize in losing someone, none of those things would give you help. Right now, there is one person who stands ready to help you. His name is Jesus Christ. He is King of King and Lord of Lord. Why not trust him today? Why not allow him to be at peace in your life. I want to pray for you and your family. Pray with me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I surrender, Lord, every heart that is painfully accepting the reality of their lives who have lost a loved one. I pray, O oh God, that you comfort those families. Give them strength. Enable them to see, God, that you are there for them, that you, Lord, would never leave them, nor will you forsake them, for from you will come their help. I ask your blessing and for strength for them today. In Jesus' holy and precious name, amen and amen. May God bless you and keep you and sustain you. May he overshadow you and look over your family as you reach deep within and overcome this deep sorrow and pain that you face. My prayers and thoughts are with you and your family. God bless you.